So, you got these fidget EDC spinners that I've been seeing all over YouTube and stuff. Thought I'd go ahead and grab one. Um, this one is from... This one is from EDCspinners.com. Some website I found. I thought I'd review it. Um... It's just memorizing, man. Like, for me, I got this because I have a lot of anxiety and stress. I'm a manager at a store. And sometimes talking to some customers can make me, because, uh, you know, everyone's different. A lot of people are crazy. But anyway, I got this. Um in the mail just yesterday uh, you got like a regular bearings here still this part this red part is acrylic 3d printed and then you got your three I'm probably gonna change these tops come out I got this special I think this is Steel and ceramic. I could be wrong. I like how it spins. Now what I've been hearing about the bearings, and I think it's true, I'm probably gonna go out and test it, drop another video later, is the full ceramic has some slop, some slack compared to the steel. Because the full ceramic, basically, um, it's for in high heated situations. The ceramic expands to fill in that void. Um, these can pop out. This can pop out. It's really some people flick it like this, but. I, through my fidgeting and playing around with this, I realized if I hold it with these two fingers and take the middle finger, I get a nice better, and I can stop it, a nice better spin, stop it. Now, it's a crazy fad that started about six months ago. I'm just not hearing about it. I was really into the yo-yo, but I mean, can't bring a yo-yo to work. I'm one of those people, I have, I like bringing, you know, I have a favorite pen I bring to work every day, and then I have a stylus that has a pen on it, so those things I fidget with when I get bored or when I get anxiety, and I feel like this might be my new, a new everyday carry. Um, I've seen some people doing tricks, I'm not really trying to do tricks, it's just to occupy my time. Not void off in the space. So, um, let's see. I'll uh, drop a link in this, the description on the bottom. I did make one of these using zip ties, but there's nothing compared to actually getting the skeleton or the actual nice you know, put together one from like a laser printer. I seen some made by hand. Man. Now, if you want this to spin faster, which I haven't done yet, but I've been reading up on it, is you can wash it like the middle bearing out with Dawn soap and replace a little bit of that oil, the lubricant with maybe WD-40 but um, I'm hearing a lot that these whoop, these uh, oop, like I, I just love this thing my bad um, these These um, metal bearings do the trick 
and probably spin even longer. So, I'm gonna buy a couple more of these. Show you guys the one I made. I let my daughter have it for now. And um, I'm gonna review different types of them. Really interesting, I love it so far. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe and follow. Um, I like reviewing stuff in between like dropping music videos and stuff like that. I mean, I have my interest, you know, my interest. So, hope you guys enjoy. Um, this right here, I didn't get to the price, I'm so sorry. This right here was like 20 bucks. Now, for acrylic, a nice little sturdy thing, worth it to me. I think the price is worth it. I know it gets crazy into like the 50s and 100s, but I don't know. We'll see how far this takes me. So, see you guys. Have a good one.